Hey, this is Alex from GuitarForce.com and this is a guitar lesson on how to play Corduroy by Pearl Jam. We're in standard tuning, so tune up your guitar and let's get started. Okay, the first riff goes like this. So um, basically we play uh, the E chord right here uh, located at the 7th fret, uh, playing two notes, E and the B, the 5th. Uh, then we change to open A string and holding uh, with the pinky the same note right here, it doesn't change it stays all the time the same. And then uh, we switch to C note over here, uh, located at the um, eighth fret of the E string. So basically, there is a little rhythm pattern or melody uh, going on uh, with the right hand. Basically that's it, there's only three notes. Uh, one thing to mention is um, you can use your fingers to make a vibrato sort of uh, effect. Or you can use uh, some sort of pedal like vibrato or something like that. But if you don't have one, you know, you can create it with your fingers. And um, another thing is when the um, drums are kicking in, you know, when they're building up, the guitar part is also builds up. So it's uh, the first is uh, the melody sort of rhythmic pattern going on. And then uh, it, it builds up with drums like this. kind of thing. And that's it basically for the opening riff. Uh, now the verses uh, go like this. It's all power chords and the chords are F which is located at the 8th fret right here, then going to E chord and the G chord down here. That's it, nothing special. Okay, now uh, the chorus goes like this, uh, the chords are again uh, C, uh, the power chords, C, B, A and G. Now because there are two guitars in the band, uh, one is playing the power chords Now the other guitar is uh, playing the same chords but just adding a little, uh, a few notes here and there to create a little uh, sort of color, you know, add color to the chords. And the chords are basically C add 9, you know it's this one. 
is basically like a G chord, but you bring these two fingers uh, down, you know, when so the uh, root is on the C. And here is the third, open, and the, here is the ninth. You can also use the pinky here at the, at the third fret of the E string. And then for the B chord, all you do is just uh, move uh, one fret down, uh, holding these two fingers. Goddamn fly! Holding these two fingers at the same place, and uh, with your index finger playing the root note, the B, dampening the D string over here and uh, letting, letting ring the G string so it sounds like this, the chord so basically from C at 9 going to B and then there is a standard uh, A5 chord and the G and adding these two notes on the high E and B strings so all together it sounds like this, slow Okay, and uh, there is a little bridge section going on, uh, which is just two chords, and again, one guitar is playing just power chords. The chords are B and the C. Okay, and the second guitar is uh, playing the same chords, but uh, there is a little melody going on underneath it. And uh, uh, hear it how it goes. So basically, we're holding the same chords uh, as we did in the chorus for the B and the C, but here is the standard. This is how we used to hold the chords in the. In the in the chorus but instead of pinky we fret here the F sharp note on the located on the high E string on the second fret with your middle finger so the chord would look like this and uh, fretting with the pinky the third fret from time to time creating melody so it it should sound something like this. And then when you go to the C chord, all you do is just exchange these two fingers, but the middle finger goes uh, and, and holds the um, C note, the root note, here on the third fret of the A string, and the index finger is going and holding the F sharp. So we basically change, exchange them like this, and again, Pinky comes in to play, you know, to create the melody. So together they sound something like this. That's it. Just experiment, you know, find your own uh, so, sort of uh, rhythmic patterns and melodies. You know, it's all about, you know, improvising and uh, playing interesting stuff. So that's all for the song. I hope you liked it. And um, check out my other videos for other lessons. And I hope to see you soon. May the forest be with you.